Hello everyone and welcome to our brand new episode of the Three Whisketeers, the show that we like to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. Right, Curtis? Right, absolutely. Absolutely, and I think we're having it right tonight. I'm your host, Jamie. We've got our angel-haired hipster, Curtis. Melissa is back for the 17 millionth time, and we love it. We like her. Delaney showed up for her seventh time. Woo! We have our special guest, Melissa's husband, Clint, is in the house. That's right. Finally, in front of the camera, instead of in the back, we got our happy Honduran Eddie. We couldn't be happier right now. We have a gift from Clint. Yep. Yeah. You, I guess you, if you bring a bottle, you get to be on the show. You get to be on the show. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So okay, we'll go ahead here we go. and show off what we have. Here, oh, bud. oh, oh, bam. Ding. Bam. Quinn, why don't you tell us about this? Yeah, uh, this is a Jeremiah Weed a Bourbon and Core, right? Yes, this is a, a it's a it's a little more core than just a than a bourbon or a scotch or what you guys are probably used to. It's it's actually pretty sweet mm -hmm. and we like it more as an after dinner or a very cold weather. Um, because it's got a really nice hundred proof kick to it. Oh, so it, it's got a it, that hundred proof will cut through that sweet. Yeah, but but there is a lot of flavors in there. If you can uh, if you can hold it under your tongue, breathe over it, and just uh, and and breathe over it a little bit. Uh, there's some flavors and stuff there. So um, yeah, this is our uh, kind of our go-to straight drinking uh, bourbon. That, oh, okay. Uh, like, so. so I think you mentioned something about uh, that this is an official drink somewhere. At, at one point it, it was, and it, it may still be the official drink of the United States Air Force fighter pilots. Nice. And I think since about 1970s. We get half. Yeah. So uh, if there's an Air Force base in the United States and there's a bar on the base, I've heard that there is a bottle of this in the fridge. They usually sell, they usually uh, drink it chilled. But it's uh, just as good um, uh, warm. So. Well, I've had uh, sweet tea from these guys that are, you see that all over the yeah. place, but I've never had this one. Yeah. This is actually the original that they started off with was a was a bourbon, a, a blended bourbon, and uh, they went to a sweet tea. They have a, uh, which is a vodka base. Okay. They have a cherry whiskey base, I think, and I think I've heard some root beer and sarsaparilla mates even. Yeah, they're like all over the place. I mean, I've seen, I've seen the marketing all over the place on TV, right. but it's just, it's for that, uh, uh, Jeremiah weed uh, sweet tea usually or or, or the lemonade yeah uh, yes. yeah so this, this is very new to me I never even heard of this uh, uh, bourbon liqueur so yep yeah, it's a and like I said it's it's pretty sweet so you may you may get a lot of sweet right off the right off the bat go. it definitely smells like a bourbon this is definitely not a right first off <laughs> yeah you and your right those of us playing the drinking game at home take a shot <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh gosh, I love that taste actually. Wh when you smell it, you're smelling a bourbon. You're not smelling any Ooh. sweetness. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's pretty crazy to me. I'm like, this smells like bourbon, and the smell is really nice. Mm. You know, I don't. I think I want to enjoy it a while. I don't necessarily just want to sample. No, it's definitely. Right. Well, it's a sipper. It's a sipper. You know what? I don't want to chug that. I think this would definitely be good yeah, for cocktails. Heat. There's some heat. There's some heat. So this. I would love to try a Manhattan with this because it's got some heat. What do you? What do you? Uh, do you mix it with anything? Or actually, what, do you, what do you do? We actually don't. We uh, we really. This is basically how we drink it. We drink it warm. We drink it straight. There's no there's no rocks. There's no nothing. It's uh, neat, huh? Very neat. Yep, just neat. And do you put it in the fridge or the freezer? Uh, you can put it in the freezer, and I do uh, sometimes. And that even brings that sweetness up even mm. even more. Much more. Uh, uh, this is really good. So, so that's so, where it got its legs for us. Okay. It the. The high alcohol though is tempting. You gotta remember it's high alcohol because you really wanna just drink this down. Yeah. I'm really, yeah. like you just really wanna give it a good gulp, but you're, oh boy, it'll get you. Yeah. You, don't have to do, you don't have to have a whole lot of it right. to make an impact. Right. Absolutely, it's And we it's urge everybody delicious. to drink their whiskey responsibly. We need the viewers, please. Yeah, this yes. could be dangerous. It could be. Yeah, very dangerous. Thank and make sure you're Thank out of the you. woods, away from your, your turkeys and your deer after you're hunting. Before oh, you sharp this. objects are broken. Any right? sharp objects <laughs> after hunting. <laughs> Sit Mason, home. After what do you think? Hunting. Chill. On the other hand, your yeah, ice Mason, fishing, you what do you think after you just found that big old I really like it. Not recommended. I like this, my favorite stuff. Mason likes it. It almost tastes like it has a... Cola to it. Mm -hmm. There's so many flavors in here. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> but it's just I mean, so nice sweet, to licorice, cinnamon, maybe a little vanilla. Just it's, it's just really like kaboom. We're sweet. I'm definitely when I find it, I'm buying the bottle. Yeah, well, and that's the other nice thing. You know, I mean, as far as price point goes, kaboom. when you start drinking, you know, the price point of this is twelve ninety nine, thirteen ninety nine a fifth. Ooh. So as far as a price point on a hundred proof bourbon. I don't know, for flavor and for octane, I don't know what you could find that's going to be comparable. That's what do you think? Well, you know how I am about flavored whiskey. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's you know, satanic to 
with flavoring and whiskey. <laughs> and overly sweet whiskeys, I really despise. Mm -hmm. I really, really despise. But this is sweet without being overly sweet. And it still has that whiskey characteristic. This is really, really a nice drink. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm glad you guys like it. It's yeah, I, I actually yeah, really a, do like it. I wonder what would happen thing. if you aged this. Just maybe for like five or ten years. I wonder what would be. But the, the sugar content is just so high. Mm. It, it'll probably be like a syrup by the time you get it out. I don't know. But I, you know, usually I would just, out of hand, a bottle of whiskey that was sweet like this, I would just give it to somebody because I wouldn't want it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is actually enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I really I really do like it. Yeah, I do like it. Too. It's your first time, right? Yeah, it is. I, I, I've it never is bought it. Because I, I never knew they made such a good bad. product. Really. I always thought it was just like overly, overly... Advertise yes, they're professional. Oh, hardly. That's our enthusiast. Enthusiast. Yeah. Um, I really love. I really love. Mm -hmm. But this is actually enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I really, I really do like it. Yeah, I do like it. It's your first time, right? Yeah, it is. I, I, I've it never is bought it. I, I never knew they made such a good bad. product. Really. I always thought it was just like overly, overly advertised. Yes, they're professional. Oh, hardly. That's our enthusiast. Enthusiast. Yeah. Um, I really love. I really love the nose. Really? I, I mean, the taste is nice, the palate is nice, but the nose, it's, it, it is definitely bourbon, but it has that characteristic that I find in a cognac that really fills your sinuses and makes, yeah. makes the whole experience wonderful. Yeah, yeah this, this does remind me of brandy, or like the cognac type uh, stuff. Yeah, I was you're, like, you're into that. Yeah, so when I drank this, but this is like a little sweeter than cognac and brandy. As far as uh, everything we've ever done on the show, this is the this is totally different. This yes, really yes. Different. this is by different. far some crazy stuff. <laughs> well, glad glad I could bring you guys something. You did, different. you did, yeah, yeah, you, you did. did. You did. knocked it out of the park. I think you impressed all of us Excellent. here at the table. Yeah, man. Um, Except you passed my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you passed the audition. You're welcome back on the show you anytime. Had in there, didn't you? Great Bertanian. Why don't you Thank take you, us man. home, buddy? All for what? One, One for, for all. all. Woo!